at the very start of YouTube boxing, you had like Jake Paul wearing headgear with um, yes. Deji. Yes, like that. yes, 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 yes. Tell me how two and like this and the size of gloves as well. Like yeah. you could only like use a certain amount of pound gloves, or whatever. Yeah, so it'd be sixteen ounce That's or fourteen it. ounce, maybe sixteen ounce back then. So they're wearing bigger gloves. They got headgear. Can you tell me why it took so long for YouTubers to get sanctioned to be boxing without headgear and lighter gloves, but slapping someone straight in the face? Yeah, it's weird. like a, you're all good. It's, oh, who knows? Who, who you actually? Couldn't pay, you couldn't pay me to do that. Sport. Oh, I wouldn't do it. Not a chance. It's like it's just waiting to get knocked what, out. What do, you, what do I achieve? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Warwick Go With Your Eyes. We're back on every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 a.m. on Spotify and 4.30 p.m. on YouTube. Have you ever been slapped? I have in the face. Yes. When? Uh you you actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, did I really? Yeah, when we were doing the on the gaming video. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah with the shaving yeah, cream yeah, yeah. when you got on your knees. I'm yeah, like, what are you doing? Yeah, Get up! Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Daddy, what? <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> I do remember that now. Yeah, um, mate. There's a new slap fighting league which is hosted by Dana White. It is getting so much traction. Have you seen it online? You surely you've seen. I've the ones. seen like some slapping competitions and stuff, and like the sound genuinely sounds like a gun yeah. being shot. Like it is, yeah. And people, people firm it like, yeah, no, really people, well. People get knocked out bad. I did see. Actually, I did see. I think it may have been Fox Sports on Facebook. Someone actually's cheek like broke or like was disfigured when Swollen. they got slapped. I saw that because I was like, that looks. Ridiculous! Like that's something that I would expect from a UFC fight, not a slap. Yeah, they, it's too intense. There's uh, Dana White's going to create his own league behind it. And again, you know how we were talking about the whole he hit like he slapped his wife. Yeah. Can you believe that this man, his wife in public, and now has created a slap fighting league? And it's just that's it's like, so interesting. <laughs> it's just like it's nothing. The creative genius <laughs> between him and his wife to do that. Maybe, Next level genius. Maybe it was a marketing promo for the whole thing. Yeah, maybe it was. It's an inside job. <laughs> God, he's done a great... Like, mate, I still can't believe he's gotten away with it. Yeah, well, same. Not, well, not gotten away with it. He's done the but right the, thing. Well, yeah, he, he, he did the, the right thing, but the fact that it's no longer talked about, it's been washed under the rug, it's like, did we really forget that this happened? Like, <laughs> really? It's, it's, a hard, it's a hard line, isn't it? Because it's like, okay, you did exact... There's nothing more you could have done. I mean, he could have... A, what donated to a slap charity? Yeah, or like, yeah. <laughs> no, but he's spot other, on. other than that, he's done everything he can. So yeah. I guess what else are people going to attack him for? So, um, and you, you know what? I listened back to the podcast. You said something that was so accurate. You said the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rare. Um, you were like, he got onto the apology straight away. Yes, he didn't yeah. let it. Simmer. He didn't let. He didn't. Didn't let. He didn't let it cook. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't do. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a Logan Paul sometimes and get his publicist to do it. Yeah. Like it was just cop- him, yeah. which I think, again, is the best way to do it. Yeah. When when um, Logan had everything going on with his crypto scam, um, he let that go for a couple of weeks. Way too long. And then when he had his Way creative too long. Video, it's too late by then. Yeah. When he had his creative video, everyone's already formed their opinions. And once one video comes out, another 15 by popular yeah. YouTube. You so need it's, just to, it's just stuff that needs to be addressed straight away. It does. So... Um, Anyway, the slap fighting, uh, like, pretty easy to explain. Two people just stand in front of each other. They've obviously thrown in a few rules here and there. I don't care about the rules. I don't care that they Yeah, get, I feel like the like, rules are like almost... Practi- yeah, they're non-existent. It's stupid. It's stupid. What, like, I don't care about these little itty-gritty things where it's like, oh, this is making it professional. No, you've got two people standing in front of each other about to slap each other I as hard as you can. if the slapping... And I know right now your reaction to this question will be like, you're a fucking idiot. Most but of them I are. wonder <laughs> I wonder if somehow slapping will one day ever be an Olympic sport. And I know mm. right now you're like, bro, what? But skateboarding's been introduced and just recently I saw at the next Olympics break dancing is going to be an Olympic. There's no way. Dude, that's what I'm saying though, right? Like yeah. at what stage does it start where where it's like, you're kind of taking the piss? Like, really? Can I can I not saying that skateboarding shouldn't be, because I think skateboarding's amazing. I know. But that we That's why you've got X Games. Ninety five percent of our fans are mad Olympic supporters. Like they're just obsessed with it. So to all of them, I'm so sorry. I think the Olympics is a joke. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't Mate, really shot put, javelin, 
long jump? I just don't really watch it unless it's like really the basketball, maybe the occasional swimming here or there. I really don't watch anything. Man. What's it's with the, the same Americans not always winning? It's the, the same as Commonwealth Games. Like I just don't really follow them for that close. Yeah, I'm not into it. All. If anything, it's probably more Winter Olympics that I'm like, yeah, I'll watch that. You're into basketball. Can you explain to me why Americans don't win the gold every time? So they've been struggling, but I must admit, man, some European teams are very like they are very good. Like I yeah. would say, and when the Americans play basketball. The rules are actually completely different to what they play in the NBA. Ah. So in NBA, you can take like three steps. Yep. But in Olympics, you can only take two steps. So they're all used to taking three. So they always get cold travel. And they never, until this season really, they never get cold travel in the NBA. Like ever. It is so rare that is they it, get cold for travel. Is it also because um, you've taken the best play from each team in America, put them together, and maybe they don't have that team dynamic? Well, yeah, more or less. Like some people just don't gel. And all that, sometimes even the best of the best won't play. In, like, they just, they're just like, no, I don't want to play in the Olympics. Well, they make so oh, much money exactly, in America. Man. It's like, oh. Exactly. Like, what, realistically, like, yeah, winning a gold medal for your country is amazing because it's the Olympics, what, like every, is the Olympics every? Four years. Four years. Okay, yep. yeah, so thank you. Um, so I guess it's like, well, I'd rather win a championship ring than a gold medal. If we go through some And some the wages the that they're on is ridiculous. What's that one with the little swords? Oh, fencing. Mate. Fencing. You can't tell me fencing's exciting. Oh, unless it's the way you want. Swimming? <laughs> uh, it depends. Like, oh, Australia's really good at swimming. We've got some amazing swimmers. But but don't get me wrong. It's impressive. And the way, how fast they are is impressive. But it's not, I don't sit there on the edge of my seat. And if someone's so super close, I can't tell who's <laughs> about to win. It's hard to see with all that water. Um, but, mate, I'll go back to it again. Shot put. Come on. Yeah, I'm not watching shot put, man, if it's on. Mate, some of the Olympic sports just are not exciting to me. It's just a bit questionable. What's the one where they grab that massive pole boy and then they... Pole or pole vault? Pole vault. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty... We had a good Australian that was actually pretty good at that, Steve Hooker. He was pretty good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. The, the running's pretty impressive. Like, watching Usain Bolt run is them, very, like, wow. Mate, all of them are the most impressive athletes in yeah, the world. Yeah, they're the best of the sport. best. But I'm telling you now, that best of the best, that's, that... Do you, what would you rate the Olympics out of 10? Like, entertainment-wise. Oh, oh, yeah. No, probably not the back end. If it was, like, a top 10, they'd be, like, for me, like, an 8 or not. Like, it just doesn't... What? An eight or nine's high. You rate like the whole no, like so, value. no, no, no. So like, if like one was like the best, and like ten, like ten and nine being like the bottom end of the table. <laughs> ne- I, sorry, I've never right. had anyone ever. No, I was thinking of it like a table, <laughs> like a list sort of thing. They would be at the bottom one. Oh, so one's the other bottom. Yeah. Okay, I get you. I've never right. had someone switch it. I'd be like that. That's yeah, like, no, all right. That's all right. I was just saying a different taste today. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, man. Like even the ceremony and stuff. I know people are like so in love with like the closing and the opening ceremony and all that. Even for like the World Cup, like FIFA World Cup and all that. And I'm like, just I don't know. Like mm. it just doesn't. Maybe maybe if it was in Australia, but even then, like it just. I've never. I don't, probably since high school. I just haven't overly been a massive fair fan or have a care factor about the Commonwealth Games or. Yeah. The Olympic, like, granted, if you make it good on you, I mm. think that's amazing. If you're an athlete competing for your country, that's going to be the best feeling in the world. But it's just not for me. Yeah, I don't find it. The entertainment factor is just not there. The impressive factor for people like swimming, to have the strength to be able to throw a javelin that far, I'm just seeing, like... What, seeing, what like, take? world records be broken and people say, like, I'm always like, that's impressive. That's impressive because you're sitting there and it's like, well, in the entire world... That person is literally now the best. What's, again, but I'm just. I don't know, I'm you're saying, Bolt, it's like you are the fastest man in the world. Like, that title is yours. Did you say you got scammed out of the $12 Yes. $12? That is ridiculous. <laughs> Could you imagine being his financial advisor? <laughs> just watching, seriously, the bank getting a couple of seconds go from like 12 mil to just 12. And just be like, <laughs> where did it go? What the fuck has just happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have you done? The uh, oh mate, the slap fighting um, that Dana White's got going on. They've set up like a whole TV show, and uh, it, it. I can't think of anything more that would cause brain damage than this sport. Yeah, well, they're not wearing helmets. That well, at all. The, like, the two, just, well, the, mate, are you even wearing a mouth guard? They're wearing a mouth guard. I'm okay. pretty sure. The 
the only sport that it's I know... It's a bare hand. It's a bare hand. The only sport that I know that causes the most head injuries is NFL because they're wearing the helmets and they're constantly banging their head. So later in life, they get a lot of CTE and maybe boxing if you're sparring a lot because, again, you're wearing head protection. So you're getting used to your head getting banged around constantly. So later on, you get hurt. Mate, just a straight-up slap to the face repeatedly. Full force head, too. Knocking and your brain's just fiddling around mm. in there. Surely, how, yeah. There's going to be major. There has to be some sort of like in the contract where it's like you cannot sue us if anything oh, happens. They would have that contract airtight because, like, fucking hell, airtight. They'd have that contract. Oh, because you know how we were um, at the very start of YouTube boxing. You had like Jake Paul wearing headgear with um, yes, Deji, yes, like yes, 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 yes. Tell me how. And like this, and the size of gloves as well. Like yeah. you could only like use a certain amount of pound gloves, or whatever. Yeah, so it'd be sixteen ounce That's or fourteen it. ounce. Maybe 16 ounce back then. So they're wearing bigger gloves. They've got headgear. Can you tell me why it took so long for YouTubers to get sanctioned to be boxing without headgear and lighter gloves, but slapping someone straight in the face yeah, it's is weird. like a, you're all good. It's, oh, who knows? Who, who you actually? Couldn't pay, you couldn't pay me to do that. Sport. Oh, I wouldn't do it. Not a chance. It's like it's just waiting to get knocked what, out. What do, you, what do I achieve? Yeah, I like d- unless the prize money is like something ridiculous. Like, what seriously do you achieve? Well, they do it in Russia, and Russia have a champion. And it's this guy. Yeah, with this they're big all beard. fucking built, man. Yeah, they are massive. But there's one guy who's um, he's their champ, and from being champion, obviously he's been winning and winning and winning and winning. And you go, how many slaps to their face have you taken? Oh, I didn't even think about that. What about the practice? Shit. How do you get in a week's practice? <laughs> oh, Surely, like, what are you slapping? Do you know one of the biggest jokes in um, mixed martial arts communities is when they see... So you've got conditioning and fighting. So conditioning, yes. we could stand next to each other and we might go, all right, for a minute, you're just going to keep punching me in the stomach. You're not going to go too hard, but you're just going to piece me up. Do enough it. to sort of like I can feel it, but I'm not hurting. Exactly. Like you just you just strengthen up your abdomen. Same with the legs. I could just keep chopping at your legs, right? Just keep kicking, building it up, building it up. Anytime there is a video where a trainer is conditioning someone's head, as in like just punching them, it's a joke. Everyone just goes, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. So how do you prepare yourself for slap fighting? Do you just not, surely you don't take any hits and you just solely practice on that slap hand, that big You'd old have to. slap hand. The glove. The glove. The mitt. <laughs> You'd have to, man, because it doesn't make any other sense, like really. mm so, and how can you even, like, back to more, like, from a boxing perspective, how can you condition someone's, like, head if their chin is the thing that always KOs them? Man, some fighters, that's like, a big weakness for them. So, some fighters are known that it's hard to knock them out. Nate Diaz. Yes. Nate Diaz takes some bombs, and he can just keep getting hit and hit and hit. And he'll stumble around, he'll just go back and forth and... Look, I'm not going to lie. If you bring Nate Diaz up to a press conference, he he honestly sounds like he'd be pushing like a, cir- like a circle shape into a square mm. peg. So, someone said that to me once and it <laughs> fucked me up. Like a kid like at a playground trying he, to push a circle. Me- mentally, a men- mentally, he's like, instead gone. of his age, yeah, he's it's gone. like a two-year-old brain in like a 30, 40-year-old boy. Well, he's taken that much hits to the head and he just... It's well, it has hard, its effect. It's at the hard end of the to day. understand him, and when he's on, when he's talking at a press conference, some things make sense, some don't. So some people could argue, oh, it's all the hits he's taken. We don't yeah. know. There could be something different. But what I'm saying is, with all those hits you're taking to the head over and over and over, you're getting those little causes of oh, brain most damage definitely over a long period of time, mate. That's scary to think about. It is. But someone like him, yeah, you're getting those small little. Damage to your brain, but he's also he just can't done get knocked out. Mm. He's got a chip. You cannot knock that guy out. Try it is so. When was the last time you seen Nate Diaz get knocked out? I think I've only seen it once. I can't even it, recall. And it was a TKO very very long ago. But then you got someone like Cody Garbrandt. So Cody Garbrandt, he I don't know if you've seen him. He's in UFC and he's tatted up. Uh, Good looking maybe. bloke, really tatted up. And his last like five six fights, he's only won one, and it was a good knockout. But he's just been clipped. Every time, and every time he gets clipped, he's he's just got a glass jaw. Someone yeah. will say he's got a glass jaw, right? Yeah, and yeah. that means the minute you just get a little tap, you're out. You can't take it. 
I don't know, man. <sighs> it's crazy. Yeah, People be built different. They will. And in this slap fighting that Dana's got going on, the clips I'm seeing on TikTok, it looks like he's just grabbing random fucking people. Oh, the people the off the street. Yeah, oh, right. Well, it looks like it. They probably aren't. They're probably aspiring to be the best slap fight champion in the world. But, so odd to hear. But when I see them, I go, you you look like Dana's went out to a 7-Eleven being like, oi, you and you. you want some quick come money? With, come with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that... It's just such an odd thing for him to start as well. It's very odd. Like, out of everything that he could have picked up and done next, that's not what I would have been expecting. The timing of hitting his wife, too. It's just, yeah, uh, it's, it's just like, what? it's very coincidental. It is. It's a little too like, coincidental. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I feel like there's a master plan all, all along there somewhere. Yeah. Would you, what would you, would you, if you had a mate in your group that hit a girl, would you slightly disc, like, me and you. I feel like you'd have We're to call it We're pretty unbreakable. What would you... I, my girlfriend's so tiny. What would you do if I slapped her? Because that's well, not I, a good... That's I not feel good. Like the natural thing would be just sh- genuine shock and awe. Yeah. Then fight up like, why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. Like, just why? Like, even, even if for whatever reason, like, she laid hands on you, for, like, what... I, it still would just be like, yeah, but, like, how, how did it even happen? Like, how did, how did you end up with that result? Like yeah. What actually went through your brain to get to that point where you're like, no, fuck this, like, I'm what, doing it? What would, I would say you have about maybe another two or three friends that are similar to me in the way of, like, you would be like, nah, they're, like, mates for life. Yes, right? yes. What would one of us have to do for you to be like, nah, slowly breaking away? I would say it'd either be just heavily, like, getting involved into like just drugs or something like that, where it's just like you want to do better, but you, even though you're reaching out for help, you just continuously go back down that spiral. Yeah. yeah. Not to the point where it's like, oh no, I, I'm a firm believer in everyone deserves second chances. Mm. Granted, some people probably don't, mm. but that's just me who I am. But yeah, if you, I'm happy to give someone a second chance, but then if you throw that second chance in my face, it's pretty much like, no, you know what? Well, fuck you then. Like, yeah. I, I wanted to Even help. Even for the really close ones? <sighs> See, that's where it's hard. It, it really comes down to the situation and all that. Because, mm. I don't know, like, if you were violent towards your partner, I'd feel like it's like, well, why would I want to associate myself with that? Mm. Like, if that's who you are, like, I don't want to be around that. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And stuff like that. Like, I don't want to be partaking in that because, obviously, your partner, your partner's family, whatever, like, they're going to speak up. Yep. So people know, man. And then what if me and you were drinking up loading photos that I'm together? Not necessarily people would be like, oh, well, he must do it as well. But it's just I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, I, could, I don't want to be um, I don't want to be around someone that does that. I don't want to be around someone that does deals, mm. slings, like whatever. And they're uploading photos. Because then it's like, well, he must be doing it as well because he's always with him. Yeah. And I was like, no, that's not me though. Like you're – it's a misconception. Yeah, I could um, – there's a few jokes I could – I could be like, mm, that's not on, and then slowly down the line try to make light hard of it, as in like once you've all, you know, patched things up and been like, nah, it's okay, that was out of line, but, you know, we'll get past it. And then later down the line try to make light hard of it. I could never make light hard if you like hit your girlfriend. Oh, no there's way. Never a, I, wouldn't, a, I, I wouldn't expect you to. Yeah, there's never a time I could be like, nah, play it off, make sure everything's all good. Yeah, yeah, no. Like how, how are you cool? And, and for the ones that do know that like their partner does, I don't know how you can walk around being like, nah, nah. Or cheating, especially in your same group. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, I don't understand that one. That's completely fucked. Yeah. How do you stay silent about that too? I think that's a hard one. And I know that we've spoken about it before, but it's genuinely because like you don't want to get involved in someone else's business. Mm. But at the same time, it's like they need to know as well. Yeah. But then if they hear it from you, then like that their partner may attack you being like, oh, fuck you, like you yeah. just don't want to. And it's just like, oh, I'm trying <laughs> to help you. Like, I know this isn't what you want to hear, and I know it's not great that it's coming from me. Yeah. But if it was happening to me, I would like to think that someone would come to me and tell me, like, hey, you might want to, you might want to look into this. Yeah. Imagine if, um, I wonder if there's been anyone who has a situation where maybe they're, I guess, what the word, swingers, or they've got an open relationship, maybe they don't tell their close friends. I wonder what would happen if maybe Ooh. you saw me out with someone else, right? You don't know that situation because I'm like, this part's private. Like, I want to yeah. be an open... Like, that's private to me. And you've gone and been like, ah, fuck, that's not on. 
told my girlfriend, but she's like well aware of it. Like that's a that's a thing. That's and so I, awkward, and isn't then it? I come back and I'm like, you dog. <laughs> Well, no, but that's true though. Surely like, that's happened before where I someone thinks like they're will. doing the right thing, but they've really screwed things up. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely happened before, man. Yeah. Oh. It would have to. And that's just an awkward conversation in and of itself. What do you think of, um, on this one, there's on TikTok, there's people who will go in and I might say, I think my girlfriend's cheating on me. And I talk to- Like a private investigator or something, something like that? No, no, no. Okay. no. Like okay. someone, some dude my age on- um, Instagram, who's got a lot of following, and this this guy will just hit up girls that are in relationships to test their loyalty, to see if they like kind of flirt back, maybe give their number, and what a guy will do or girl will they'll record the whole thing, screen record it, and be like, so I hit up this guy, just to, this girl wanted me to see if he, her guy would be loyal, and they flirt, 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 and then it'll it'll be really flirty, and then they'll be like, oh, let's catch up, and then it's like bang. They've cheated. And some people make a whole series on it. That's right? fucked. What? That to me is very toxic. That's so toxic. But I thought, I was like, what does that say about your relationship if you even go to this type of person? Yeah, true. That's it's already going to be on the rock. Yeah. You've, you've already, that's almost like you know that your partner is doing a dodgy, yep. but you just need like that clarification. That's sort of like final nail in the coffin to be like, yeah, cool. I knew I was right. Yeah. that's like But when, if you're already thinking that, then. Hmm. That's like when people go to Reddit. Yes. And they go oh, on Reddit, my God. they expose their whole story and how bad their husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever might be. It's like, I don't want to talk this, this badly about my partner. Like, Not to people that I don't know. Yeah, you're confiding in people you have no idea. The whole world is seeing this. I feel, And I feel like that's where so many, oh, I fucking, I'm so far from a relationship expert, but I feel like that's where like we see so many issues because even in high school though, like you'd always go to like your group of mates to talk about things and it's just like, Realistically, if you you and your partner are going through a tough time, a difficult time, maybe a misunderstanding, really just either keep it between you two, or maybe just one other mate. Mm. Like like you really got to keep it because then so many other people are getting involved. Yeah. There could be the awkward situation where, say, you're not in the room, your missus was, and I'm just like. Oh no, you want to look at, and then it's like oh, I can't believe he told you. So that's an argument in and of itself. You know what I mean? Like it's we've, just we've had it before where mates have been. This one I, I'll, I've never understood. There's, I think, um, venting to your friends is very healthy. I think like if oh it is. There's some things that aren't worth an argument, but you want to be like, man, you won't believe what she's done or he's done. That's healthy. We've had friends where like the minute they're not catching up with the girl or the guy, they just talk mad shit yes. about it. It's like, why are you in a relationship with Correct. this person? All you're doing is like putting them down. This yeah, is horrible. It's actually so bad. I'd be so upset if I heard some of the stuff you, you were saying about me. Yeah. Oh, bloody oath. Mm. Bloody oath. Especially when you think everything's all happy days. <laughs> like, could you imagine <laughs> like worst. your partner like doing that to you, man? And you're oh. like, oh, sweet ass. Like we're never arguing or anything like that. Yep. And then you maybe just like one day you're out shopping with like their best mate there in the shop. You sure you're with her best mate out the front just chatting. It's like, oh yeah, she, yeah, I can't believe she said this about you. And you're just there like, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg yours. Like, yeah. What do you mean? It's like, yeah, didn't she tell you? And you're like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> There, that is just heart sinking. Yeah. That's actually like that where your heart just drops. Yep. And you're like, I think I'm going to vomit. Mm. Happens in the workplace heaps when like you think you're doing a good job or like so, oh. you got a good group around you and then you just hear some shit behind your back. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I could ride with you. Yeah. I thought you were my ride or that. And then you go and do this shit. Oh, mate. I've been in, I think I was in one of the moments literally two days ago. I was in the workplace and then um, a couple of people had no idea I was there. And they were talking mad shit about this one girl. So they thought oh. they were just alone. And I think back, I can't remember them now, but there's there's been plenty of moments where you're in a situation where someone has no idea you're in the room or you're in a... a Even, you, you know what's them. actually the funniest part about this as well? Is this has happened to me so many times. I'll be in a PlayStation party and I'll flip my mic up so it's in my head because maybe I'm like eating food or whatever. But... Maybe I'm in a party and like my mates have thought like I'm not in the party chat or like I've I've turned my mic off or I've walked away to have a shower and then they'll just be like, Yeah, man, like and it might it'd be something stupid as like, Yeah, he's just playing shit tonight, like he's just shit. Like I don't really want to play with him or and it's like, Cunt, I'm right here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can fucking hear you. That's and then, just, and then you that's put lazy the, shit. And, and then you and then you genuinely just put the mic down, you're like, I'm back, sort of thing. <laughs> and then like and then like you just hear them like change and you're like you can't. <laughs> you motherfucker. Like, I fucking heard everything that you said. I'm going to play shit on now. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mark Cobb with two eyes. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Boom. Boom. What was that? <laughs>